Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing another Roblox Studio tutorial. This Roblox tutorial we're going to be doing is how to make a screen GUI popped up. This feature, this could be really useful to open like a shop button or in a, in, or maybe a backpack inventory. But further ado, let's just jump right in. So, for this example, we're going to be doing a shop button. So first... I'm gonna go to Star GUI. It's good. So with an Explorer and properties. So um, if you're new to the Roblox Studio, this is how it's going to look like. If you join Roblox or Roblox Studio, this is gonna. So we need to do this for beginners. So if you open up Roblox Studio, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a base plate. So you have to go on View. We're gonna click Explore and properties. And you might also want to click output because this output is going to check for any errors in the script. So this could be really useful. Like if there's an error, it will tell you what error it is. So we're going to go to start a GUI. We're going to click on this plus sign and click screen GUI. Once we have that screen GUI, we're going to go over here and text button. Now what our button is right over here. Now, um... We're gonna click on the text button, and you can have this um, you can have this on and off selectable. So if I turn this off, that means I cannot move it around. That means you're going to have to do the size or position thingy. If you turn this on, I recommend you guys turn turn it on so that it'll be easier to move around and stuff. So I'm just gonna place this right in the side, and maybe a little bit like that. There we go. Looks good. Okay. Now, the text button. And we're going to do a background. Click background color 3. And I think we could do like a little bit of bluish color. Yeah, that could be do it. A bluish color. Oh, text button. And um, we don't want to say button. We want to say shop button. So, I could put my mouse a little bit right here. Shop button. I'm going to put capital S, text scale. That means, um, so there's different ways you can fill in the text in the box. You can use text scales or just use text size. So this text scale, if you turn this off, it becomes shorter. And if we use text size, say like uh, 36, see, it'll make the text bigger. But if you're making a GOI, say like, <laughs> I don't know, 59, See, um, subtext, some text you're going to put, it's going to go outside of the box. If it, if your text is going outside of the box, then use text scaled. As you can see, all the text is fitting inside the box. That's great. So now, we're going to go to screen GUI, click the plus sign again, and we're going to click frame. Once you've done that, we're going to select the frame, and we could just make it a little bit of size. Something like that. There we go. And now, so yeah, guys, just also forgot to mention this. If you see this little black, black round, the black uh, little, little little thing around <laughs> the little box, um, that's because I'm using a Archibald, I think. No, no, not Archibald. I forgot what future. I forgot what what it is. You know. Oh, border size pixel. Because I'm using a border size pixel, if we put the border, border size pixel to zero, that means there's no black line. If for you, for you, if you want a border size pixel to five, as you can see, there's a much bigger black, black line. For me, for this, this tutorial, I'm just going to set it to zero. All right, now let's just color in the frame. So background should be a little bit black, but a little bit grayish. There we go. It looks good. You can copy these numbers too. Um, and then we could do like a background chair speed. Background chair speed is to make something invisible. Say like if I put a one, that means it's fully invisible. If you play the game, no one's gonna see that. If we put it to zero, that means everyone could see it. We want to be a little bit, a uh, little bit ish visible. So this is how we do it. We're gonna put zero point five. Hmm, maybe that's a little bit too invisible. Three. 
Mm -hmm. We could do one, 0 0.1, as you can see. Um, it's You can see right through the frame. And now, we're going to click the frame, click the plus sign, and we're going to do text button. Now I'm going to set the button right here. Set this a little bit right there, a little bit tall. There we go. Now we got our button here. And we're going to do background turn speed. It's a red. This button, we're going to... <coughs> sorry. This button, we're going to make an exit button. So we'll click X, capital X. Actually, yes, we want to hold shift X. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's small. We're going to use text scale. You know what? Actually, let's use um, text size. Uh, maybe 34. Hmm. A little bit too small. 67. Yeah, 67. That looks good. So, but this tutorial, we're not going to use anything. We're not going to put anything on it. This is just going to be a pop-up GUI. All right. So now, since we have that done, now we're going to do the scripting. So, first, the text button. We're going to click the plus sign. Look, search up local GUI. Local script, I mean. The local script means, I don't know, um, like a player script. So, we're going to have one here. And the frame. We're going to click that local script. Add that local script in. Okay, that's great. So, now... um. We're going to add what script are we going to put in the shop button. Now, just want to let you guys reminder, since I'm really that generous, a really nice person, I'm just going to put the script in the link in the description. If you want the script, you're going to find this in a link in the description. So first, we're go you're going to copy all that and paste it into the shop button, like the open button. There we go. Now we have that. Now let's script the exit the x button again the x button it's going to be on the link in the description and below the video so let's cut this out paste this boom now we have that and um now you're going to need to put an output maybe there's going to be some errors but we don't know so to test this out you're going to need you could you could find there's two ways you can find this you can find this little player right here or the home button and just click play for a faster way I'm just gonna click this it's the same way yeah it's just the same way you could do it hmm. okay ah there we go it works so um, I think the better way is you could is you can set the frame to visible there we go I think this could work as you can see so when your players join, they're in the game, and if they click the shop button, boom, it shows. There we go. Now you could just add those little GUI scripts inside the box. If they're done using stuff in that box, you could click this X button, and it will exit this out. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the tutorial. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.